but also I'm gonna take it out later and then you strip it you know and put it back in the pan so we got uh, live cooking episode 24 24 yes let's go um, it was uh, suggested by one of the viewers I had to change the name in this command it's actually Scottish cock a leak soup but the the cat bot from mixer kept deleting it I think because of the word cock which is obviously something spicy but also another word for chicken so I thought it's a little bit weird that they because I know the n-word isn't being deleted by a cat bot but no worries uh, I had an ex who would just boil chicken to cook it and couldn't stand oh no that's terrible no you only boil chicken to make like stock or in a dish like this when you make soup so as you can s just saw I already started boiling it to reduce time on the stream otherwise it's uh, we we have to wait a long time um, so Scottish cock leaky soup that's basically chicken soup with uh, leek of course and they add prunes as well so I got prunes over here and some we got some herbs actually gonna add the laurel I got some laurel leaves over here it's for flavor I'm gonna add some of those right now You like ramen? Well, this is not like ramen. This is like a sort of a chicken soup with veggies, but also with rice. It was suggested by Tapiata, who is one of the viewers here at the chicken farm. Uh, so I added the laurel. I also got some salt and pepper. So you rub in the chicken and you put it in the pan. I added some uh, vegetable stock as well in there. Um, now I'm gonna go to my garden real quick. <sighs> to get some rosemary from my garden. Some fresh rosemary over here. Just literally took that out of my garden. At that. So we're gonna continue boiling the chicken. I'm actually going to put it on the lower pit so you guys can see it better. Gekaruni! Is that you, Gex? I think Gex changed his name there. Oh, that's hot. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's way better, right? Let's go. So, let's start up start off with cutting up the veggies first up the leek I got my beautiful kitchen knife over here I love this knife I don't want the end of the of the leek don't want that So Boomer, this is your first live cooking stream at the chicken farm. I do this like mostly one time a week. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the next episode, but usually one time a week, usually on Tuesday evening. I know it's, uh, it's mi uh, afternoon for you right now, Boomer, but it's usually around this time. Uh, I've been making a lot of sweets, like pies and stuff, but Today I wanted to get back to more healthy food and still as good. So I got the leek, I got some carrot over here, I'm gonna cut that as well. Take off the skin. I know you guys are used to battlefield, 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 sometimes skylines. And of course that's my main thing at the chicken farm. It's 
where I got all the growth from. All the people, most people who follow me are here because of Battlefield. But I still going to continue doing this every now and then. Because it's just fun to cook. In my opinion. So I like big chunks in it. So I'm not going to make it all fine like you see in vegetable soup where they cut it up really fine, you know. I like chunks. So we got carrot. Go. Got some sweet bell pepper over here. Take out the seeds. But no worries, Boomer. I don't know what you're doing today, Boomer. But after this, after the cooking stream is over. I will clean up and make myself ready for a battlefield stream. So if you're down, Boomer, we can play again tonight. Gonna wreck, wreck them soldiers on the battlefield together. Probably the TDI squad will be there and the goon squad will be there probably. It's like standard stuff at the chicken farm. Weed Hunter, appreciate that, my dudes, Mr. Weed Hunter, coming in without a host, very much appreciated. So I don't like the white thingies inside the pepper, cut that out. What were you testing, Doc? You were testing new overlays or something, or just the audio? So I'm going to cut the pepper a little bit more fine. So the chicken over here, I start boiling it like 20 minutes ago. I'm going to boil it for like a total of 30 to 35 minutes. Looking at the time, I see now that I actually started off a little bit too early. But that's alright. Usually I'm late. <laughs> uh, so Laurel can go back in there. Alright, what else do we got? So I got the fetchies right there. Now I'm gonna cut up some more stuff. Take a quick look at the chicken. Oh you little chicken. Gonna keep the lid off for now. That looks good. So I'm actually gonna wait a little bit now. Just have uh, some moments. So I can take some time to go through some shouties. We got Mr. Weed Hunter. It's always good to hunt for weed. And we got, uh, who else do we got? We got Gex, who obviously changed his name. Gekaruni. I like that name.
So Tapiata, she she requested this dish. Um, when I start looking for recipes, just to get a get a feeling of it and understand what it's like, I also tried prunes. Um, now I just took the fresh ones. I don't know. It just seems better. I don't. I I don't like dried fruits all that much. So it's kind of like Scottish cockaliki soup, only then with a Jamona twist in it. Well, I got some spring onions. It wasn't in the original recipe, but I thought it would be nice to add some spring onions to the soup. quite enough. And I got some celery over here. Always nice to have celery in your soup, no matter what soup you make. Have to shut down some programs here. Everything is on open. Gas commercial from my computer. There it goes. Shut it all down. Let's see, this program can go. Don't need that. Okay. So, back to the cutting up the fetches. Some lovely fresh celery over here. In Dutch we say celery. Well, I can't wait to taste this dish. There are multiple reasons why I thought this idea from Tapiata was such a great idea. I I was looking for a soup to make on, on this stream. I already did a couple of soups on the live cooking streams. But I just wanted something different. And then Tapiata, I was talking about it in a, in a regular stream. And Tapiata was there and she said, you should make Scottish cockaliki soup. So I didn't know it, so I had to ask, like, what is it? And she said, well, it's a soup with chicken, where you make your own stock and then strip down the chicken, which you just used to make the stock. And like everybody who follows me knows this is the chicken farm. So it was all basically one and one makes two, easy choice. Great, great idea. Uh, do we need more? It's going to be a big, big bowl of soup. So I think that's enough. Uh, maybe one more. There you go. Let's give Tapiata, I don't know if she's here. Hello, Cupgod. So she came up with this uh, this idea to make this soup. So shouty, shouties to her. Are you ready for some booty field later when I finish up over here? It's the amazing Mr. Cupgod. Always, always helping me out on the battlefield, reviving me. I Am I the next Jamie Oliver? Mm, I wouldn't count on it, Cupgod. I wouldn't count on it. I do believe I got a similar cooking style 
to Jamie Oliver. It's quite similar, the way I pick my ingredients and make my dishes. But even though he's like a TV chef, I still think he's really good. So, because he makes cooking look easy. So, I do uh, think he's a great chef. Uh, average. Let's just stick with average. Cop God. How are you today, Cop God? So cut, I'm going to cut this celery up a little bit. Not too much. So we've got the spring onions. We got the celery. We got the the leek over here and the bell pepper and the carrot. Now, only thing now we need to cut up are the prunes. So what about that battlefield tonight, uh, Copcat? Are you down? Down for the booty field. I'm gonna make myself another coffee. In the meantime, while we wait for this chicken to boil. Well, it's already boiling, but... It has to be cooked, you know? We don't need raw meat in our soup. So we're gonna take this things a little bit slow today. <coughs> Let's make some noise. Oh, actually I'm gonna unplug my mic for that. Sorry uh, guys, I had to unplug my, my mic because my coffee machine makes a lot of noise. It's grinding the fresh beans, you know. Hear that? That's my machine. So we gotta wait a little bit here. Because the chicken is not... It's nearly cooked, but not all that much yet, so... Gotta wait a little bit. Also, would be nice if we can get more people's attention here. Well, that's all right. I always upload this to my YouTube later for everybody who missed it and still wants to see it. Recently, I started using it to to upload some of my game experiences to it too. Still, I have no ambition whatsoever with YouTube. It's basically just for uh, storage. I really wish I could play some music in the stream, in the cooking streams, but yeah, because I'm uploading it to YouTube, you know, you got all the copyright bullshit there 
Like as artists, they don't earn a lot of money at all. <coughs> Hashtag sarcasm. So you gotta deal with copyright shit. No mercy, what's up? Appreciate the host, mercy. It's no mercy fella. The number one at the chicken farm. Number one regular. Kokaliki, yes. It's a great name, right? These Scottish people, <laughs> they sure know how to name things. <laughs> it's what it's called, man. <laughs> Google it, man. It's really, that, that's the name for it. I thought it was a great idea with Tapiata. Because it's with chicken, I'll show you here. So I got it right here. So I'm boiling the chicken. Boiling the chicken! With some uh, laurel, some vegetable stock, some fresh ros rosemary from my garden. We got pepper and salt in there. We're gonna take that out in a bit. And then we're gonna strip down the chicken. And add all the other stuff, like I got the, the, the leek, of course, and the bell pepper, and the carrots. And over here I got some uh, celery. And spring onions. Gonna add that as last. Right now I'm still kind of a little bit waiting, you know. For the chicken to be cooked. What's the dealio with Mercy today? Are we are we playing Battlefield later? When when I'm done here, gonna get the direction on booty field on the booty field. So, let's start cutting up these prunes. So the laptop is behind me, so I have to step back from the from the screen every now and then to check my chat. But not a lot of people today. I'm all alone. Nobody here to love me. God damn it, Jamona, don't start singing. It's gonna be on YouTube. All right. First, I want to taste this. I love prunes. I don't know why I never eat it. Mm. Mm. Oh. They're delicious. That's worth the money. Because they weren't all that cheap. Had to pay pretty, pretty uh, much uh, money for it. But 
Now I'm tasting them and they're obviously worth the money. Oh. They're nice and juicy, they're sweet. So the original recipe for uh, Scottish kokoliki soup is uh, with dried prunes. But I said it earlier, I don't like dried fruits. Unless they're deeds, or how do you call it in English? I don't know. I think it's deeds. Really love those. So that's quite enough. Clean my board real quick. Uh, let's check on this chicken at the chicken farm. It really smells good, guys. Yes, that's marvelous. Put this on low fire. Close the lid. Queen B and Rybom coming with the host. Let's go. Appreciate that, guys. What's up, Queen? How was your Red Dead Redemption today? We got the Bomb Squad in here. And we got the amazing Queen B as well. Let's go. Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in, Queen. I was a little bit lonely over here. Just me and my chicken. About to play again. Ooh. Well, I'm I'm after this I'm gonna clean up and go to the battlefield again. I was in bed all day. And I was like I told you, parents. Parents. Yeah, it was suggested by one of the one of the viewers. So you make like a uh, stock with chicken. You boil the chicken with uh, fresh herbs. I got uh, laurel and rosemary in here and some vegetable stock. So you boil that. And then once the chicken is cooked, you strip it down. And then you add like the, the leek and the bell pepper and the carrot and some prunes over here, which are delightful. I just had a little slice of them. Yeah, this is what we do uh, every now and then at the chicken farm, uh, Queen. We uh, we cook food. So I'm gonna take out the the rosemary, which I got from my garden. I got a garbage bin right here. I think it's better if I use this. Take out. All the taste makers. I think that makes soup taste even better. I always enjoy making my own stock. You can use it for so many things, like as a base, a base for your sauce or your soup in this particular case. Gonna taste this stock. 
see how it tastes if it's need more pepper or salt or whatever Red Dead Redemption I I actually had like dreams about that game I played yesterday Queen <laughs> that hunt showdown it's a it's a beautiful different game you know different than others but oh man you get jump scared so many times even after you played it for I don't know how many times sometimes you I remember later on I think you already left we were running through a cornfield but there were hiding like monsters inside that cornfield which we didn't notice and that scared the shit out of me all of a sudden it was like ah, ah. like whoa what the fuck okay let's stay st this stuck mm. no that's just fine doesn't need anything else mm. not a lot of fat in there either so that's good that's good news uh, I'm gonna keep the stream. Alright, Queen, you go lay that egg real quick. Sometimes the chicken gotta do that. Lay an egg. I'm gonna add the veggies. And the prunes. Oh my god, I bet this is gonna be delicious. Celery, there you go. Hmm. The taste is absolutely amazing. Holy shit. I'm going to make this more often. Back to boiling. Chicken is still too hot to strip. Don't want to burn my hands here. Mm. Drinking coffee in the meantime, that's a kind of weird combination. If you just tasted your chicken stock and then take a sip of your coffee. can go back in the garbage bin. Don't need that anymore. Voila. Fridge doesn't want to close. Close, god damn it. Let's stay closed. Ooh. So when it starts boiling, I'm gonna add some rice. Let's see, where did I put my rice? So over here. Oh, 40! What's up? Appreciate that, mister. It's Mr. 040. Coming in with the host from south of the country. Let's go. Oh, I see you changed your profile picture there. Look at that handsome Dutch bastard. Oh my god. Why are Dutch people so handsome?
What's up, Morningstar? Chicken heads. Well, we got chicken legs over here, as you can see. Let's see if I have some gloves left. No, I don't think so. How are you doing, Star? Let's see if it's cooled down. Don't want to burn my hands here. So take off the skin. I don't want the skin, it's mainly fat. So we we made a stock out of this chicken here. And then we added all the veggies veggies to the to the pan. And now we're gonna strip down this chicken, which is well cooked. So now you got proof, Morningstar, that I always talk about food in the channel and you guys always bully me. <laughs> but I can actually cook. Uh, good. Got off work early. That's that's really nice. That's always a good thing. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I uh, had like a lazy day. Spent some time with the fam. And now, uh, yeah, we got the live cooking show. I usually do live cooking uh, streams on Tuesdays. Like right here, it's, let's see, what's the time right now? Uh, it's nine or 7.40 p.m. So this is usually the time where I start. Chef JT coming in with the host and Burn Kitty. Let's go. Chef JT, he does cooking streams too. But then more high quality than I do. He's a better chef. That's why I don't add chef to my name. Hello, chef. I saw your... Uh, the thing you did with your uh, kitchen towels. That's amazing, man. Is there a way you can win that? Or what? what's the whole idea behind that, chef? It's 11.40 a.m. Wow, your day just started. I live in the future. Now we got something special here today, uh, Chef JT. We got a. Uh, this was suggested by one of the viewers, and it's a Scottish uh, soup. You basically make a stock with chicken, with some rosemary and thyme, and laurel, and then you add like vegetables and prunes, and. When this starts to boil, I'm going to actually put it on the backfire because that has more power. <coughs> but like the prunes, that, that got my attention the most. When they start boiling, you also have to add rice to it. Uh, chef name has too much importance, used to be half of kitchen where chef. Yeah, true, true, but not at the moment, chef. Not at the moment. Sitting at home. Lazy, being a lazy motherfucker. But dude, what's the, what's the whole idea behind the... Towels, are you going to give them away or can people buy them or is it just for you, for the shows? Damn, it's still too hot. Comes off the bone quite easily. Now I have to wait, I'm going to peel it off, but it's still too warm to uh, to strip it with, with my bare hands. Uh, yeah, I used to be until I quit my job, Morningstar. I quit my job in January and that had to do with uh, the place I was working at. I was running towards a burnout and so I took my time and chilled down, you know, after I quit my job. But right at the moment when I were feeling fine again to get back to work, the whole corona, corona thing happened. So there was literally no restaurant in my country that actually hired people. And now it's start, uh, slowly starting to come back, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to find something soon. 
but I'm actually looking for more of a daytime job instead of being home late at night because that's what happens you know when you work in the kitchen oh we got a bell pepper down we got a bell pepper down so it starts boiling again so I'm gonna add the rice that's not enough no worries I got some more um, towels were cause I needed towels that weren't branded we'll be doing giveaways but not luck making business out of it it's a I think it's a great idea man and who knows chef I mean maybe they get that popular that you can make a business out of it it's good that you don't have that as a goal for it but usually when you don't it becomes one you know I have the same same thing with my channel you know I never started streaming because I thought oh I want to be the next ninja as a matter of fact I actually prefer it being a little bit more smaller so I can spend more time talking to the chat and such you know if, if I would have a very big channel and the chat would go crazy so you won't be able to react to all the messages you get in chat or answer all the questions you get and that's basically the thing I like the most about streaming getting in contact with with people around the world you know and spend time them with them and get to know their culture and their daily life and see what they are doing and that's why I hang out at other people's stream too like uh, for example Morningstar and I we met through uh, Chief Tan Cool's channel which I by the way absolutely <laughs> love hanging out with if I'm grumpy if I got a grumpy day and I want to have a smile on my face I and I see Chief online I know I have to head in and watch her uh, first off she's funny as fuck but she also has like a really great community that just brings a smile on your face, you know? And that's 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 the whole reason I'm doing this. Not to become famous with it or like if it would ever happen, of course. Of course, that's that's a nice bonus, you know? But it's not the reason why you should be doing it. And I think the people who have that mindset are usually the ones that, that grow the fastest. So let's see how this temperature is. Oh, that's better. So I didn't have gloves anymore, so I'm just gonna do it with my bare hands. The the name of this dish absolutely cracked me up. Like tapiata, she made this she suggested this one. But first I thought she was just like pulling my leg, you know, because of the name, Kokoliki. I'm like, are you are you trying to bully me here? Are you joking? She's no, it's it's real. Just check it out. So I looked it up <laughs> and there it was, Scottish Kokoliki soup. Well the original when how they make it, they use dried prunes and like a, they add like a whole chicken. To the soup well, there are only two people living in my house so i don't need that much soup so i just got these two lovely chunks of chicken right here but that's that's quite enough so i made stock with this with uh, rosemary from my garden we have now we now have like herbs in our garden did a little pimping this week got a new garden set table chairs like these these baskets where you can grow stuff in it's nice to have this just when you start cooking just go to your garden and pick some of the herbs you have growing there it's a nice addition if you like to cook. Do you have this, uh, chef? By the way, my laptop is behind me. So it may take some time before I react to the messages because I have to step away. I want to keep it as far as possible from my, uh, from my food. 
Don't want to get that expensive device dirty or broken. So it might take some time before I react. You want to lick my what? What? What did I say, Morningstar? <laughs> Keep jerking your chicken. Yes, it's lovely. I thought you were making chicken soup for our sick friends. <laughs> Hey, Morningstar, sometimes I might sound different because of my accent. <laughs> Get used to it, buddy. <laughs> so it's, it takes uh, less time than I would expect it, it to be. Because I boiled the, I made the stock from the chicken for like 40 minutes. I start boiling it before I start streaming to reduce time. My accent is dope. You th you think it's sexy, motherfucker? Huh? You like my accent? Or you like me talking Russian accent? I can also do Russian accent. Vodka is made from potatoes. Therefore, vodka is vegetable. I'm um, I might have said that, Morningstar. Without noticing it. <laughs> Keep it chunky. I don't like soups with all fine stuff in it. I'm just gonna keep it chunky. Your mm. new skull. Thank you for the outer host. Your new skull. So, <coughs> gonna put that back in the soup. Mm. I can't wait to taste this. I already tried to stock when I took the chicken out. Delicious. Look at that. No, I don't like the soups where there are hardly any ingredients in it. I like like them full, like a lot of stuff in there, a lot of taste. Um, I'm gonna quickly move around my camera so you guys can see it better. If you suffer from, oh, whoops, there goes the expensive coffee cups. So if you suffer from motion sickness, I uh, advise to look away for a little bit. I need a little bit more height in the camera. Let's see. Where's my... Oh, here it is. Mm. Let's have a taste. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. Yes. Don't need to add anything else there. It's just perfect. Normally when I make soup or whatever, I'm always like uh, tweaking, not twerking, morning start, tweaking. Like the taste, add more salt, add more pepper, then maybe a little bit more. But this time we got it in one go. It absolutely doesn't need anything else. Quick 
quickly fix my dishwasher here off screen because we gotta wait now for a little bit for this rice to cook Uh, chef Chef JT, he will agree. You have to get, you have to have patience when you cook. Gotta have patience. Don't do it too quick if it's not necessary. Take your time. <laughs> I'm. I might have left that out uh, the other day morning star after after that stream was over and i thought about it i was like maybe it's a little bit inappropriate to tell at least for chief you know <laughs> but i just didn't want to miss out the vibe in the chat and in the stream was too good you know but i also wanted to have that bad so there i was with my rubber ducky in the bathtub talking shit to you guys I gotta say Morningstar from all the people I follow like Chief and Fractured are my my most favorite streamers also I really like Chef JT's streams because yeah cooking but unfortunately when usually when he does his stream I'm always asleep and stuff like because it's then like midnight he lives in on the west coast of the USA so that's either a bigger bigger time difference web <laughs> hey I I will I will like at least put a little uh, like this one like I said the other day Put a little leaf of laurel in front of my genitals. That's literally, this size is literally all I need. No, I'm just kidding. I need a whole package. Oh my god. <laughs> it's getting from bad to worse over here. But that's what you get when, when somebody from Chief's channel hops by. So, nearly done over here. That was fast. What time is it? Usually, uh... Oh, just under an hour. Usually I spent like two hours on the cooking streams, but this one is pretty fast. You're gonna watch me eat, Morningstar. You're gonna see the money shot. That's how we call it over here, the money shot. And right now I'm making the soup, but like for the last couple of weeks I've been doing this. I've been doing this for longer, this is like episode 24. But for the last couple of weeks I did a lot of pie baking, like brownies and red velvet cake. And I even made a goddamn lemon merengue pie. Uh, how much for extra moaning while eating? It's free. It's free. So I'm gonna get ready for uh, the money shot. So I'm putting down my chair, and of course I need a plate. Mm. Do I have like a big plate somewhere? Maybe, just maybe. Yes, I do. No, I'm 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 completely honest here. I don't like to charge people for stuff, only for my merchandise. I only Oh yeah, I wanted to ask the the thing you just sent, that emoticon. That I see that a lot in Chief's channel. I want that I want that too. Who do I have to subscribe to to get that one? Whose emoticon is that? <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. I need that shit, man. I need it. Who 
whose emoticon is that? I need to know. Right now I only have close to spiciness is uh, Invicta's booty. That's the only spiciness I have. Yes, I need it. So when I need it so I can say it back to you guys, you know. Give me that shit. I gotta defend myself, you know. I gotta defend myself. All shits and giggles aside, Morningstar. Just to get back to Chief. Like, of course, she's amazing. But I think that the way you guys, like, you, like somebody like you and all the other mods and all the regulars, they make her channel even greater than she already makes it, you know? Yeah, of course. Yes, please. I want to know. I want to know where I can get that. I literally will just subscribe to that person. Just thanks. <laughs> uh, right. Thanks. Oh, did you see that in the right side of the screen? Did you see that? That little shadow there? It's my cat. Let's see how the rice is doing. Ooh. So I'm using risotto rice for this one. It's kind of maybe a little bit weird, but it works. Oh my god. The smell of it, guys. The smell. So it needs like two more minutes and then we're done. I'll say, I'll tell her, of course, like, Mor Morningstar's fuck you emoticon and Morningstar himself brought me here. By the way, I didn't see Chief online today. Is she working? I gotta have my Chief and coffee, you know? Well, those are all her... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So she has at least 100 subscribers. That's nice. Like back in the days, I always played music during the cooking streams. Um, just also for for these type of moments where you where i'm not doing actually anything besides talking a lot of shit just to keep it like the vibe a little bit more alive but i also upload my cooking streams to youtube just to save it because here on mixer it's only being saved for 14 days and i don't want to get it uh disappear in thin air you know but you know the whole stuff with youtube and music and copyright Oh, she got even more. Oh, shit. So it's 15. Oh, she got a lot of subs then. Nice. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think of all... I got a couple of people which I am watch the most. Clips, Chief, Fractured. Those are the people where I spend most time. So if I, if I wake up and... None of those are there, you know. I actually, I'm a routine guy. So if I don't have my routine, then I my whole day is fucked up, you know. Maybe I should tell Chief one day. Maybe then she will stop her, quit her job and do it for full time. If she gets partnered. I still don't understand why she, she didn't get it. I mean, there are certain things you have to live up to if you want to want to be partner and I think she she applies to all the, the things but she'll probably get it one day I'm sure of it high rub bullshit yeah probably I mean I guess she gotta start showing her tits or something because that's all I see at the partners Got all the pretty faces in there. So 
so the rice is cooked so we're done here <coughs> let's have a taste of this soup um, let's see oh, I hate plastic kitchen stuff Not too much, because I already had dinner. But there's always room for more. Especially for cocks. Uh, cock leaky. <laughs> Alright. Gonna move the camera again. Now oh, I got some fresh <coughs> celery left over here. Pimp up the soup a little bit. Give it some extra color. Some spring onions. You always make room for more cock. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Voila. Yeah, it's it's like it's true, man. For um, maybe I'm I'm just jealous. I don't know, but uh, in my opinion, from my experience, first off, like if you're a female on Mixer or whatever streaming platform you're on, you already have an advantage. Now the females they don't actually can do anything about that, but that's just the way it is. Whole bunch of horny kids on mixer. <coughs> Let's see. Uh... Oh, let's see. Mister O Forty is sharing the rules for uh, um, for partnership. Uh, your account has to be at least two months old. Gotta at least have 2,000 followers. You must at least uh, stream 12 unique days a month. You have to at least stream 24 hours a month. You have to be a senior, like 18 plus in your country. Well, all those stuff you mentioned, Mr. Ofori, all those stuff, that's, that's all there at Chiefs. So I wonder what the reason was why she didn't get partnered. I wonder. Oh, back to the food for a real quick. But thanks for sharing that, Mr. O40. We got a Scottish cock leak Cock! Oh, leaky. Hmm. Lovely. It was uh, quite fast to prepare, actually quite fast so time for the money shot because we gotta taste it right we gotta taste this soup move the camera around a little bit how are you uh, mr. O40 thanks for that uh, host earlier your auto host dropped by mm. put my laptop here so, um, don't get scared, guys, of my face. I know it's ugly, so don't get scared. Oh, I'm out of this picture. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, hold on.
Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's quite a dark day today. Uh, is that better? Yes. Mm, it's it smells good. So this is like you make the stock from the chicken with rosemary and thyme, and then you strip down the chicken. You add oh I don't see my prunes. Where are my prunes? Prunes. I don't have prunes in it. Hold on. I like scooped out the parts without prunes. They magic magically disappeared. Huh. That's weird. Well, fuck it. Maybe they resolved. Bon appetit, guys. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh. Holy shit, that's good. Mm. I can taste everything It's that's in there. The rosemary, the chicken of course, the prunes. Even though I can't find any of those right now. But I still taste it, you know, the sweetness of it. I think next time I'm going to make this, I'm going to add some garlic too. That's the only thing I'm missing right now. Mm. <laughs> you have a different kind of bowl. Um, I stopped doing that like four months ago. I did it for 14 years. 14 years I smoked the bowls. Oh, that was a slice of prune. But ever since I stopped doing it, oh man, I feel so much better. So much better. I'm not saying I'm not gonna do it again. Maybe on a party or a festival or something, but not like on the regular base, you know. Dude, this is so good. Mm. I like the rice in it too. Delicious, guys. You see how fast I'm eating this? That's how good it is. Mm. You should try this out one day, uh, chef. You're gonna love this shit. It's also because you got so much ingredients. It's like really, it's not just a soup, like a starter or anything. It's you can easily eat this as a main course, you know. Mm. Yanusko! What's up, Yanusko? I was lurking you today, uh, Yanusko. Mm. As you can see, Yanusko, I'm doing mighty fine over here. Unfortunately, uh, Tapiata, the, the one who suggested the, this dish, isn't here today. But she will be proud when she sees that this. Mm. Yeah, you should try this out definitely, Chef J. Uh, why the sad face, Chef? Why the sad face? How are you, Yanusko? Great? Ah, oh, good, good. Amy, what's up? Hmm. <laughs> well, I got plenty more over here, Kami. So feel free to drop by. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know actually why. It doesn't really matter, but. She uh, she told me she would she was looking forward to it. 
I don't know, maybe she forgot or she had other things on her mind. I'm just gonna send her the photos. Like, just see, I made it and it's delicious. Scottish people know their food, man. Ooh. Mm. I think I will actually, when I finish this plate and shut down the stream, I think I'll just take another bowl. It's delicious. Mm. We can binge nerd out like when we were 11. <laughs> We Scotty, appreciate that host. We Scotty, and who's we got Kafka eighty eight and L. Hello, hello. Mm. Welcome to watching Jamona eat food on stream. What's up, we Scotty? I'm good, man. I'm enjoying this soup a lot. Appreciate that follow, Kafka eighty eight. You're one of the chickens now. I'm actually eating chicken now, though. Isn't that funny? Ironical. Hmm. <laughs> Amber Hyper Morningstar, let's go! Appreciate that, Star. Thank you so much. He's like, oops, I dropped these. Look at that millionaire chicken in the screen. It's the Morningstar dropping them embers. And another, let's go. He lost a millionaire chicken, I guess. See the millionaire chicken looking at you guys like I got the money. <laughs> uh, this looked really amazing to watch. Well, unfortunately, we Scotty, we're about to. I just finished like the cooking part. Right now, it's just watching me eat the food. So. <laughs> If you enjoy watching me eat, then that's also fine. I mean, mm. Mm. the chicken is so tender. Not tender, Morning Star. Not tender, tender. I'm just gonna say, like every time I think, okay, Morning Star's gonna apply or com comment to that thing I just said, just gonna correct them in advance. Thank you for those embers, Morningstar. Far too kind, far too kind. Thank you, Wee Scotty. Mm. Dude, this is delicious. For, for those who missed it, I made a Scottish cock aliki soup. Yes, that's actually the name of it. I didn't believe it at first either, but it is the name. It's basically, you make a stock out of chicken with some fresh herbs, and then you add all kinds of stuff like veggies, like leek and bell pepper and carrot, but also rice and prunes. It's a really nice, nice recipe. I'm going to make this uh, more in the future, not on stream because I already did that now, but like, just like, oh, what are we going to eat tonight? I know, let's eat cockaliki. You had it before? Nice. This is my first time eating this soup. I never, like I said, I didn't even believe the person who suggested it. I thought she was just pulling my leg. Like, right, cock, cock aliki soup? Are you kidding me? But then I googled it and it was actually a thing, so. Here we are eating cocks. Might want to add that 18 plus uh, thing on YouTube later. <laughs> oh, Morningstar is heading out. All right, Morningstar. Appreciate hanging out here, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for the embers once again. I'll probably see you at Chiefs so we can continue our uh, bad behavior there. I love that, by the way. Too many decent people. We need bad, we need like dirty people, dirty minds too, you know. Hey, 
<laughs> we know you like D, don't worry about it. Okay. Thanks for, for clarifying that, we Scotty. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I finished the whole goddamn plate, so that's a good sign. Just absolutely, also in one go, I didn't have to add, uh, once I tasted it for the first time, I didn't have to add more pepper or salt, it's just perfect I'm gonna make this a whole lot more in the future it's it's actually a great great soup if you have like visitors you know and you don't want to you want to cook them something nice but you near want to be in the kitchen all freaking day for it uh, so this is a, ra a great great soup because it's you got so much uh, ingredients that it really fills your stomach unlike most soups. So soups are mostly starters where you start off your evening with. But this one is highly filled with a lot of ingredients. You got the rice, you got the chicken, you got all the vegetables, you got the prunes. Maybe uh, like a slice of bread on the side maybe. But it's fine. It's just you don't need anything else. It's a great dish to 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 make when you have visitors but you don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen so i'm gonna write this down for you guys if you google it kakoliki you will find a whole bunch of recipes for it um, i followed like the main part of those recipes but also gave it like a little twist myself for example i added rosemary to the stock and I used fresh prunes instead of dried prunes the original recipes with dried prunes um, I will write down my version of this dish and upload it to my discord for everybody uh, who wants to make it themselves you don't have to be a kitchen princess or good at cooking to make it it's really straightforward and easy to make um, so if you're interested oh I missed a gif was it the friend zone gif, Morningstar? Tell me it was the friend zone gif. Must be. Must be the friend zone gif. If not, then also thank you for the sparks, of course. I thought Morningstar already left. Morningstar. Morningstar. I wish I had a mod like Morningstar. Well, actually, I do have great mods, by the way. That's not very nice of you to say. Jamona, since you have great mods too. It was, okay. I, 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 we don't know each other that long, but I I still know you pretty well by now. I, I called it. It's the friend zone, friend zone GIF. It's the most popular GIF on Mixer. Let's go. <laughs> you just had to do it. I, I, you have to drop it at least once. You know, over here, over at Chiefs. You got to drop it at least once. Um... Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to clean up. There's not a lot of cleaning up to do, by the way, actually. So I will be done in a, in a whip. And I'm going to take back all my stuff and my camera back to the living room. And we're getting back to the battlefield after. That's like my main thing here on uh, the chicken farm, battlefield. That's also how I met Chief, by the way. Uh, Morning Star, when she still played that other shooter, which is way better than that one shooter. Uh, I'm not gonna say names. I don't want to piss off people here, but I'm just pointing out the facts. Just pointing out the facts. It's stupid that the the game that's less good is the most popular one. So we got a fucked up world on our hands right now. Um, just saying. Just saying. Uh, so um, yeah. Battlefield in an hour or so, something like that. Maybe a little bit longer. Because, uh, yeah, gotta get everything back, set everything back up. I want to thank everybody uh, who joined today, hanged out, uh, dropped by with hosts, uh, Embers, for crying out loud. Thank you, Morningstar, once again. Thank you so much. Uh, new followers, 
thank you for that as well appreciate that always nice to see more chickens coming uh, to the farm kefka 88 nl i'm talking about you sir appreciate that um also we scotty thank you for dropping by appreciate that uh, i'm talking too much i'm uh, heading out let's cut to the ending stream um i'm not gonna host anybody because uh, i think it's just uh, rude to host somebody and then after a little while because i won't take long to set up everything uh, just get rid of that host again and so, I've, so i'm not gonna host anybody i'll let my auto host do it for me uh have a good thank you chef jt thank you man you too have a great day i know you your day has just started um everybody in chat who's Sorry, my mic disconnected. Uh, I was about to say, everybody who's down with uh, cooking streams and you want to see high quality cooking, go check out Chef JT, guys. He won't disappoint you. He even skins whole goddamn pigs on stream. It's worth watching, out, watching and checking out. Um, I'll see you guys in the next cooking stream. Uh, next Tuesday, probably. Same time, same place. Later, everybody. Have a great, great day. This chicken is out. Laters.